There's a metro under here as well, isn't there? Uh, well, there was. <laughs> there isn't anymore. Oh, that was close. Good gravy. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to City Skylines with me, Biffa. And here we are in New Zealand, and it lives. After every update, there's always that uh, worry that you're never going to be able to get your city back again, particularly if you use a lot of mods like I do. And it's fine. I mean, it's like the day after the uh update hubs and transport was released and all the new content creator packs which we're gonna utilize in new zealand here and pretty much all of the mods that we need are all updated and sorted and fixed um i still think there's like a bit of a between you know the members of the general public finding out there's an update and mods getting fixed there's like a hole in the middle where people just don't know what to do no matter how much you post things on reddit um you know it's difficult if you're not on discord already you're just going to be a bit stuck aren't you but you know, generally speaking the mod devs do what they need to do and get things fixed which is fantastic really really helpful and we are going to use some of the new sports venues and some of the new shopping malls in an area that we're heading over to right now to build up our city here and i did a little uh, vote on my community tab on my channel and i said what do you want to see do you want to see i think it was american football or baseball because the other one is we've got uh, aussie rules football and then we've got football or soccer if you're not english british um the football i'm saving for blighty on the world the aussie rules i'm not sure what i'm going to do with that but american football or baseball and the votes were in that you basically want uh, both which as soon as i put that option i thought that's the one people are going to be voting for <laughs> so let's have both why the heck not so this is the area we're going to build over here bentley you might remember the name because we put in um a train station that actually looks a little bit like the bentley logo someone mentioned i, th I think that's right i remember at the time and then we'll change it to bent t bentley with, with the t in there somewhere and uh, i think that's going to work really well so let's zip over there and take a look at what we're going to do and here we are. This is the spot we're going to be building in. You might just spot there right in front of you a patch of green grass that has got nothing in it. I don't know what was in there, but at some point it's disappeared from our city save. But we're going to put something in there. And then the way that sort of looks out past the Tarantula metro station, past the Museum of Modern Art, or whatever it's called, over to the Bentley on the other side of the river, we're going to replace that with a brand new hub as well to take in the monorail, the train, the metro, and I think the tram as well. We're going to just add a couple of cool little additions in here. So I'm really looking forward to get stuck in. So why don't we do that right now? And here we go. This is the spot. So if we just look down here, we've got this little patch, which I'm thinking we're going to put some sort of sporting thing in here. And then, of course, we've got the metro bringing in people from all over the city. Hundreds, thousands of people all traveling through here, which is great. Then it heads past this. I want to just check what the name of this is. I think it's the museum of something or other. It is Man, the Modern Art Museum. Yes, I knew it was something like that. Good on you, man. And then across the, the little river here. And then we've got the Bentley over here, this sort of symbol. And this is going to go. So we're going to delete some things over here to make some room for what we're going to put in next. And I'm thinking that's going to go there, which means, I mean, it's still going to keep the name because, you know, we like the name. But all of these are going to go because it just looked a bit silly. It was totally unnecessary, wasn't it? Um, and then we've got the monorail here, which sort of stretches out down this way and stops. So we want to get that to come in maybe alongside here somewhere and then it can carry on down here and give people a way to get from the biffing spritz uh, cargo airport perhaps over to green tea fields farm and down to the crest district give them an option and then if we zoom in here i mean we can see there's so many people walking backwards and forwards they're probably all the people that were waiting in the train station there's a metro under here as well isn't there uh well there was <laughs> there isn't anymore um but um we want a tram i think to come across into this area here that is the plan so what are we going to use let's take a look so when i'm planning out i like to make use of the find it mod and if we go into here and click show extra filters panel change this to dlc and ccp and scroll down through here we're going to find the brand new three that have been added shopping malls sports venues and africa in miniature so we're going to go for shopping malls at the moment and then if you sort of double click this it will do that and then we can scroll and get sports venues we're going to look at those two and then for the hub 
Oh, now, what was the name of the hub? It is the Metro Train Monorail Tram. This is the one here. Yeah, there we go. So that is what we're going to add in here. So we probably could do with... How does that place down? So let's clear some space out from here and see what we can do. All of this can be popped back in again when we get there. And also taxis as well. Taxis have now been fixed, which is great. So we should start seeing taxis in the taxi stand as the game goes on so we shall see let's grab that again so this has got the monorail built into it so actually we're not going to need that either so what i'm going to do is grab this here oh man yeah we're getting these popping up all the time yeah that <laughs> hopefully that'll be fixed uh, very soon because it's rather annoying okay i found it it's actually got the road built into the middle there which makes uh, perfect sense so what i'm going to do is delete all of this out of here So we've got the train coming in here. We've got the metro there. We've got above ground metro and another train. And then, of course, we've got the tram in the center there. So we definitely are going to need some sort of tram roads to come out of either side. And then where's the monorail? Oh, the monorail connects up through the top here. So we're going to need some tram and monorail roads. Well, you know, I think that is probably one of the things... Um, that have been added to the game so let's just have a look through here and see what we've got so actually do you know what's going to be easier if i go into the tram section here and scroll down we'll be able to find one that's got here it is i just spotted it a bit i want one of the big roads tram and monorail on six lane is there a version of that on four lane there we go that's an easier way of doing it select over here network and just put tram and monorail in so we've got that monorail hub station track. Oh, so that must be the track that goes through here. Okay, excellent. That's another hub station track. So we've got a two-lane road and we've got a six-lane road as well. So if we upgrade that either side, that actually hooks in there really well. Although this road underneath here doesn't have many lanes. So we're going to have three lanes going in to what looks like sort of one lane. That's going to get really a bit weird under there. So what if we use this one? How would that look? Let's add that one in there and take a look. To be honest, that would work much better. I don't think that is a bad idea, you know. And then once we split off from this in either direction, whichever way this is going to go. So I'm thinking monorail is going to continue down here. So let's grab, if we're going to our monorail. Oh, I think we're having a, yep, yeah, auto save. Let's have a quick sip of tea. Are you after a strong, a sturdy mug for your cups of tea? Or coffee, it works for both if you really have to. Well, how about our new Cool Beans mug, now available on BifferPlaysMerch.com. Of course, we can also go into our road menu and use this little search thing here and put in monorail, and we get all of these, which is great. So, four-lane road with monorail and bicycle, that would actually be perfect, because we've got bicycle in here. Do you know what? I think this thing here is going to go somewhere else let's just pop that over there out of the way that's fine and then we're going to continue upgrading this all the way down i really hope people aren't dying from a lack of power i think we're okay so i'm not going to complain about that and if we bring this all the way into here and then we'll work out what's going to happen with that end in a moment and then we're also going to do this all the way down now if we remember yes there we go Yeah, that'll do for now. We can work on that, how that's going to go. But that's good. So we're still keeping the biking going and everything else. And then, of course, our tram is a problem at either end here. So now we want to work on that. And again, I'm going to move this thing out of the way. <laughs> we're going to be moving this thing, like, all episode, aren't we? Does it still fit under the monorail properly? I think it does. So that is quite good, actually. Might keep that. Okay, so let's jump back into here. So now if we search on there... Oh, it keeps the last search. Excellent and keep tram so now i'm thinking we just want like a pedestrian so if i put tram and pedestrian nah, it's not going to like it that way around so what's that going to be called just one over future reference okay so if you can remember small cobblestone pedestrian street with tram tracks then you might be able to do what i'm trying to do we're going to go with the blue stone and <laughs> do that instead so if this we put that to ground height comes out of here like so and we do have that like, train lines and things to think about, don't we? So we're going to have to try and work out what's going on with that. So that goes underneath. I know we've got 
Yeah, we've got this under here. So if we just delete this, and I bet there was a stop under here as well, which I should have maybe removed beforehand before doing all of this, because this is going to cause, this is the one I want, this is going to cause all sorts of problems, but never mind. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. What line do we have coming through there? Well, that's weird. If I click that. Doesn't seem to be a line coming through there at all now. So has that just been removed, deleted? It doesn't look like it's there, does it? Okay, well, if we go into here and then into there, and then it looks like that one before carried all the way down to here. And that is the end, isn't it? Okay, well, excellent. Well, we'll add that back in again. Everybody's happy. Back round to our main hub and back over to here. Excellent. Very good. Very good. And then our train line. So we've got two train lines here. Where does this one go? So this one goes all the way underground to over here. Could we not do something here with the above ground line? And swing that round over here somewhere rather than having this one all underground. I think that's what we're going to do. And then it connects. Where does it go to after that? So then it continues all the way underground to over here, which is, where's this? All the way on the other side. Okay, I'll keep that in mind for what we're about to do, and we'll see what can happen. So if we grab this here, make that raised, get that above ground. I'm going to go for this height. So what would happen if we just ran that straight down there? We're going to be blocking anything that can be built in there. Hmm. Could we do this instead? Let's just do this. Oh, that was close. Good gravy. Let's grab that rock. We've got to save the rock. We haven't done one for a while. Let's bring it over here to Alien Rock Park. Zoom in. Add our rock in. Where, where should we go? Where should we nestle you in? We're never going to put many underneath around the back here. Oh, look at that. The perfect gap. Excellent. Thank you very much. Looking fantastic. There we go. I think that'll be okay. Uh, maybe we could just work on that little node there it jumped so something must be happening we just bring whoa no didn't want to do that bring that back a little bit bring this back a little bit bring that one back a little bit it's it's working it's it's good maybe we just maybe finagle it ever so slightly there we go excellent right so that connects up to there i like the way this sort of spins around here and connects over to here that's good yeah, the metro. We've got so many metro lines here. And I'm thinking, could we send these metro lines out to other places as well? So for people to get across over here at the moment, I don't believe... Yeah, we've got a metro line under here that was never actually used. Where does that come from? Down here. And that swings around. But I'm actually wondering whether we could connect one to here instead and bring that across. I'm going to leave that underground one there. But whether we could use... Let's have a look. Let's have a look. This raised one here and fit in some sort of raised metro station for people to get in. Oh, man. Where could we do that? Oh, some trees in the thing. Let's sort that out there. So I'm thinking of utilizing this space here. We have the two-way toll booths here as a sort of a gate coming in. But I've cleared the fences from down here. And I'm thinking of this one could be quite good it's got some built-in shops as well so for people that are working here they can jump off grab a, a butty and then head on into work i know there's like a red version of this which i would like and i'm sort of using the move it mod to reset it to see if we can get it oh i uh, missed it oh there we go got it twice in a row oh that's nice sort of like a purpley color station and shops excellent i like that and then we can join that up with this somehow so let's see what we can do there okay there we go that's looking good we are just going to slope this down we are going to say from there all the way down to there we'll slope that a bit i think that is a different height from over here yeah there we go that's fine so that fits in there and it's a nice sort of i know we're, we're sending multiple things down the same way that you can sort of take the train but each one's got its own little reason for being there and I like the layering that it's going to do as well. That works really well. So before we forget, we're going to add in a metro line from there. Just a short little run back and forth. There we go. And then we can also grab this fence. Ooh, we can grab that there. 
that can let me get it yeah there we go excellent and we can sort of close this off again uh, like it was before there we go so you've got to still pass security to get in and out of this place and we're going to run that one right up to the side there there we go excellent and the metro's running already very cool why don't we have a quick look at this metro because i think we can put on here a different metro now that we've got all of the amounts listed on here i'm thinking whatever the smallest one is which i think is 120 one of these ones up here let's add that one on let's get the game going and that'll switch out and disappear and change it's still going 120 there we go oh so it looks exactly the same but it's a little bit smaller there we go oh hang on is that a slightly different one what's that oh that's the 120 that's the 150 it's going to disappear oh i like this one that is looking nice let's follow that and what i'm also going to change is the color there we go excellent looking nice so that's going to help people going backwards and forwards from there very good and then we could always extend that into here once we built in this area we'll see how that goes right well we've got these train lines and we've got this tram so maybe let's have a look at this tram we know people are happy to walk over here but i'm thinking if we can get a tram line over in here somewhere and that will give people access to all of this now i'm just sort of looking where we're going to end up having something up against the road here and then they just sort of walk through here walk through the park and come over there or whether we get the tram i mean i don't want it in there but we could actually we could convert this to like a tram turn around and you can have the stops right outside there that sounds to me like a fantastic idea. So we use tram search in there. And is there any tram roads with trees? The larger ones, yes. The smaller ones, no. Okay, that's fine. We haven't got any trees on there anyway. Two lane road with tram tracks. What about... Are we going to make this one way? Two lane one way road with tram lane no parking. Yeah, let's go for that one. And as you can see, this is already run one way anyway. Um, so I'm going to follow the way that it goes. Excellent. So if we can hook into that, we can then add some stops, which means the bridge is probably going to have to come across that way. And the fact that this is also a pedestrian road means people are going to walk on this as well. So let's just see if we can get this at a reasonable height. There we go. That makes more sense to me. Very good. Get the trees off road on there. Very good. And then if we can hook this into here, that would just be fantastic. What if that went straight into there? How would that look? Let's see. Is that too steep? No, that's just right, isn't it? That's good. And then we can get backwards and forwards on there. Let's get the trees off of there. Excellent. So now we've got stops all the way around there, right by the metro which is just what we want. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect that up to over here as well. If we get that going straight and then go across and then go out. Go on, where I want it. It's going to let me do it. It will. There we go. Excellent. And then we'll go out into that one. And it's gone. Hooray. And the people rejoiced. Very good. So now they can get in and out of there and it sort of keeps this all connected with a bit of walkie-talkie going on there as well. No idea what we're going to do with these lines on the other side. We'll, we'll think about that. Let's add in a train line from here because we don't have anything coming this way, do we? No, we do not. So that's going to go from here. I'll put this on. We can sort of see what we're doing. Then that comes into this line. I am just wondering actually whether this blue line could come up into there, whether it needs to be a separate train. That could go into there then, couldn't it? that comes off the side yeah we'll do that we'll have this one going backwards and forwards like so excellent and then when that train appears we'll change what sort of train it is and there's the train excellent so let's just jump into this and switch out let's look at the line details here so we've got a new sort of base train with a capacity of 240 which we might just switch it out for that one and see how that goes and also i'm going to change the color to a similar sort of red that we had on the other one there we go excellent and hopefully that's probably going to appear over here somewhere 
Oh, there's all sorts of trees on here. Let's sort the trees out and then the train's more likely to appear. And this does actually stretch through somewhere else. Oh, yeah, it's just like a little route that goes off. Okay, that's fine. Zoink and a few more over here. Zoink, remove them as we find them. Very good. Here it is. That is a rather long train, but it's looking very nice. I do very much like the look of that. So we're going to leave that one running backwards and forwards. And I was just thinking, where can this train line go to? Because if we sort of head over this way, there is a mishmash of train lines over here. This one comes underneath and is the cargo. And I think that joins this main sort of line that branches off and goes in all sorts of different directions over around here. Where are we now? Oh, yeah, over there. Yeah. So I am thinking about connecting this into this line, if we can, <laughs> without it going through the airport so if we came up here and over the top and just sort of added another line into there would that work i mean it just seems like we're giving ourselves a problem in the future that we're going to have to come back and fix at some point but why not you know that just makes for more fun doesn't it there you go that worked a bit better didn't it i don't know what was going on there but anyway anywho We'll do the uh, the height again. So actually, I'm going to get this height sorted out over here. So if we take that one, that one, and I think that was a tree. Yeah, that one there. Get these set at the correct height. And also, I'm going to just sort of move those out like that. There you go. I think we're sorted. I'm just going to grab that and see if we can lift this up. So it goes underneath there. Excellent. Yeah, that's fine. So then what we can do is we can smoothify that from... Let's go from here. And I want it to end up at that height there. There we go. Fantastic. Much, much better. So now we can hook up to whatever's going to be here. And it also comes around to over here as well. So what train lines have we got here? We've got this blue line that comes past there and stops here anyway. No, it doesn't. Has that got a train line built in? Oh, this is literally just placed on the ground and there's nothing else going on. Okay, fair enough. Um, so maybe instead, hmm, I'm just wondering whether to drag this line off to down here so when it's going in both directions, it could stop here or extend this one. I think we're going to extend this one. That's what we're going to do. So eventually it will go there. But it's also going to come all the way around to there and go back again. And I think that will work fine. And then... What the heck? It's gone all the way up around here now. Oh, I see. Right, yeah, because I need to... I need to drag the stop off so we can tell it where to go, which is up over here. Oh, this is going to be difficult. I want the red one. Can you give me the red one? Oh, I saw the red one. There we go. There's the red one. I've got it. 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 And we'll pop that in there. I haven't got it. Oh, I've turned all the lines off apart from this one. I've got it this time. There we go. Excellent. And then on the way back, if we grab that there and put that into there, then that should not go around the outside. It goes down there. Excellent. So that's like an extra loop now between <laughs> so many areas. Dean Square, Bentley Park, whatever this is going to end up being, and then round here to Primrose T Hills, rather than the other train, which just bypasses all of that. So, cool. I mean, uh, this this little hub thing was probably overkill, but, you know, I'm making it work, and I, I like the fact uh, that I'm making it work. That's good. Uh, this metro here, yeah, we said that might carry on down there. So what I'm actually going to do is, while I think of it, is we're going to grab this, and we're going to just bring this out here nice and straight would be good that reminds us to add something there the two lines on the other side i don't know what's going to happen with those so there's the metro and there was a metro underneath which we've hooked up just seeing if there's any other way we could hook something up there maybe we'll have a little think about that right let's have a look at our tram so now we want our tram stops so we've got trams in here so if i create a line Seems a bit silly to have a stop over here as well. Which side of the road are we coming up? Yeah, we want to go the other way. So if we go there and go up here. Whoop. I don't think we'll add a stop in there. It's literally going to come all the way to the end. Over there. And then hopefully it comes around there and goes back again. Yes, it does. Excellent. So that is literally going to be it. From one side to the other. Uh, let's turn all of those back on. 
So that's tram line number four. Yes. So what have we got? Let's pick something a little bit funky for here. I don't think we're going to anything too big. But if we pick one of these new ones, we've got 114. That should be nice. Let's go for that. And we're going to give that the sort of ready orange hue that's almost but not quite the same as all the other ones. And then hopefully, at some point, we'll see that appear. Darn it, I'm going to need some sort of tram hub on here, because that ain't going to work, is it? Ah, oh, that's a pain in the backside. Um, I don't think... Let's have a look. I've got a tram hub anywhere near here at all to even hook into. So if I pop a little tram hub around the back here, how's that going to look? Let's just do that. I know it complains, but we'll do that. Yeah, I think that'd be okay. Because then what we could do now, if we paint in a nice pedestrian area in here. Okay, thank you very much for the district information. I already know we've done lots of districts over the years. If I do that into here, we could now start adding some little shops into here. And where will I give these access? <laughs> we've got our got our monorail we've got to hook up as well. So many things, such, such overkill. It really is. But isn't that half the fun of the game? I think it is. Why not? We can do what we like. It's New Zealand. It can be built to our own uh, needs and wishes. So, goods collects garbage. So, that is literally all I need down here. And I'm thinking we're going to pop that right up the end here. But maybe in a little road coming off of it, it's going to have its own little industrial road. Let's go with this one. Let's just make that zone, make sure it's over there. Yeah, there we go. Doesn't need to take in that. Doesn't need to take in... Actually, we'll take in that because I'm going to be adding some shops in here. You're happy. Excellent. Oh, there's the little there's the little dinky tram. Stopping down here. Pick up loads of people. Liking the look of that. Very nice. Let's just get a shot of that coming over here because I think that's going to look really cool. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look nice? Very slow, but nice. <laughs> Very good. And why are you going on here? Oh, you're some sort of police car, aren't you? So apparently police cars are allowed to pretend they're trams. So then we could have in here some of these new shops, couldn't we? Hmm. Why don't we try and just zone some in and see what happens rather than place them? So if we just place a little zone. Oh, we've got the zone. We've got Bentley Park, haven't we? Yes, of course we have. So if we go into Bentley Park and go to Styles. Now, I've already put together a style. So if we go into District Styles Editor, we've got Shopping Malls. Let's show you what's included. So you want to look up these restaurants. If you just type in here restaurant, you can add those in. And then all the other ones are called Retail. There's a whole load of them called Retail. All different ones there. And that's what I've done. So now we can add this style in. Shopping Malls. Save. There we go, and we could zone. Zoning, yes, thank you. You learn something new every day. I know how to zone. We can sort of do this along here. So, of course, by adding all of these in, it means we're no longer able to use these rails that are over here. So we might just have to um, take a rain check on using those or we might decide to bring them out one direction just demolish a load of shops we'll have to see but let's see what we've got growing in here so we've got some see i like these ones with the extra little outside piece they look good this one here looks a little plain to be honest from the corner that wasn't what i was expecting but i like these i'm just wondering whether we could just sprinkle in a little bit of office in a few of the places that haven't grown up yet and just sort of see what that looks like so any gaps between i'm going to just make those offices we'll leave that like that this one and that one uh, let's go there let's go there we'll leave that one speed that up and see what we get growing in right so some stuff has grown in and i'm changing what we've done here it's, it's yeah all just sort of lumped in here and i don't like it so what i'm doing is i'm going through with the move it mod and i'm just sort of lining some things up a bit so this little stretch here we've got the buildings facing the way that i want we've got no parking on here because unfortunately the way the game works is let's just line this up a little bit better here the way the game works is 
the assets will still appear and they will still have like a parking thing on the front even though it's on a pedestrian road so i'm just grabbing out of here any of these that i like because i like the look of all of these i think that one's an office we'll take that one out i like that one we're going to change what's along the back here so they're not all right up against this building um, I like these. We're going to use those. And there's this cafe here, which I like. So we're going to take that one and we're going to spin that around. And I'm thinking we're going to have that one right on the corner there. In fact, because the trees are on this side, would that work better on the corner over here? Let's just grab those with the move it more. We'll just pop those over there for now. I'm also going to de zone. I was what my original intent, which I did do, I recorded the whole segment of all of this growing in and looking at it and all the rest of it. And it was just to zone it in and to leave it. But now that I've done that, I'm actually thinking I want to place these manually instead, like this. And that these are going to work out a lot better. I'm also, again, thinking... So many comments I'm going to get about the overkill of this. And all the, all the connections I'm not going to use. I want these connections going somewhere. Um, I'm not 100% entirely sure what's going to happen with them. So what I'm thinking of doing is grabbing all of these here. Uh, dezoning all of that, which is done. Very good. And then continuing these out. And then they're there for later. If you want to add something to them, we can. So let's just take... So what would this one do here? Could I go up and over or shall I go underground? Move it, mod. Please come to my rescue. Let's go underground. And there's a node there. I want this to be the same length as that one. Oh, 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 man. This is like herking and jerking a bit. There we go. Excellent. And then that's just going to go down. So there's flat land. Excellent. There we go. And then we'll do the same with these two. Although these two look okay. We'll lower them down a tiny bit. Very good. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So it looks like there's somewhere for them to go. And then we could always do the same on this side as well. There we go. Excellent. That will do there. Right. So... Uh, this bit along here is going to be more of... I mean, we can't really make it sort of like a pedestrian walkway, could we, along here? Just thinking I just want to pretty this up a bit. Right by the station um, is going to work a lot better. I think we take one of these with some trees. Get that to... Yeah, there we go. Normal height. It's been an update. There was a, a big issue with the game yesterday. I mean, this would have been last week for you, where... The game was deleting your user game stats .ugs file, something like that, which is basically how you have the game set up. I'm just checking out the buildings, see what I want on this corner over here. Um, I want something that's like a bit low with a... Yeah, this will go. This, this will do. And yeah, it meant when people were starting up their game, things were being deleted and disappearing, and it was just causing all sorts of issues. There we go. But they fixed it now. So that is good. Oh, that is just, I think, going to fit in there. Shame it hasn't got a better corner. What about... Oh, let's undo that. Oh, no, it moved it. Hang on, hang on. What I wanted to do was hold Alt, doink, doink, spin it like that. Yeah, that's not going to fit in that way, is it? Okay, well, we'll have it this way. Yeah, so it was causing all sorts of problems. You load up your game, your mods weren't there, all things like that. Yeah, that's good. Um, but they've done a fix, which is good. So that's hopefully solving everybody's issues. How close can I get? There we go. That smartens that little bit up there. doesn't look like it's so overcrowded. Right, so let me just sort out a few more of the buildings around the sides here. It's going to take me a few minutes to go through that, and we'll see what we end up with. Okay, I think I've got the buildings how I want them. So any with parking spaces, we popped on the main road here. And I have to say, these models just look fantastic. Looking really good. Going to do a little bit of decorating over here. I've got these ones all squeezed in nice and close together with a nice corner one going on there as well. And I think that's working out very nice. Little area here. You can come and grab a coffee while you're waiting for your train, monorail, metro, <laughs> whatever it is. I like the way these go so slow down here as well. That's uh, fantastic. But yeah, this will fit in really well. I've got a path through there, which obviously people are using already to connect over to there. Very good. Now I've done a few up here with a little cafe at the end. We're going to do some decorating around there. We need to add some sort of plazas and parks in. I've just sort of put these three together on the corner here. 
And then we've got a path going around the car park, which is not on a pedestrian road. No, just double checking that one. A couple of offices popped in here with a little bit of parking. And then this little section along the front with some of these cool buildings. They look really, really nice. So I think that's all worked out. Okay, I've dezoned the whole thing now. And then I've used the mod. And let's have a look in here. If we go into this area, there we go. Forced historical. So these all should stay at uh, the size they look now and also no more new buildings should appear in so let's just have a look and see if we can just do a little bit of decorate whoa jump again a little bit of decorating around here So this originally ended up being, um, it was going to be a stadium build, wasn't it? And because I've just got so stuck down in the details of using these new content creator packs and the new hubs that we've got, this is what we've got at the moment. But what that does leave with uh, leave us with, if we zoom out, we've got this space over here, which is going to be our sports venues. And we're going to put both in American football and baseball as well. And let's just have a look around. We've got a little bit of space. I mean, we're getting a bit near to the airport over there. So, yeah, I definitely think this is the space that we're going to use. Then we can hook our monorail in, maybe head that on over to the farm. But definitely access to the sports venues. But let me know what you think of this build. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and check out the next video on the screen as well. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.